All right, today I'll be showing you and demonstrating a few very licks of Yngwie Malmsteen, one of my biggest inspirations in guitar playing, and I will be using an early 80s Fender Strat, not the Yngwie signature, so it's a little different. It's not scalloped or anything, but still got the single coils and all the Fender sound. All right, the first thing I'll be showing you is um, gonna be you know the vintage Ingve Malmsteen style lick. I'll scoot up a little closer. It's a diminished arpeggio starting at the fifth fret. I finger it this way. I just hold my three fingers like that right here. Five, four, two, like this. And I rake it down like this. It's a sweet pick, but I rake it down like this, and then I add my pinky to the fifth fret on the high E string with the upstroke like this. So it's like this. And you just do that. You go four frets apart every time until you reach to the fifteenth or yeah, right around here. It's four frets apart, so you can figure it out. So it sounds like this. If you know what I mean. So I'll play it slow, just so you know the fingerings if you don't catch it. So yeah, that's the first lick. And uh, I'll be showing you another lick. If you really need the tabs or anything, just personal message me. I don't really mind. It doesn't matter to me. I always like helping. So here's lick number two. I might add the tabs in the description. I don't know if I got the time. But yeah, let's just keep going. This one starts at the... Um, actually, we'll do it. There's two licks to it. It's an octave lick. Yingbei does it in both sections. So... Start with your index at the fifth fret and you know this position. Yingve would finger it with this first three fingers, but it just depends on what the situation is. I I can do both. I like, I prefer both actually. But you can do it at the 17th fret too same lick yep yeah, that's a that's a good lick I like to use a lot and you know what we as we call the black star lick it's pretty difficult to do. It's the uh, It's hard to do. <laughs> but you catch it. Yeah, actually Yingve doesn't do it that way. I've seen him do it a couple times that way. He actually does this. I don't know, I don't do it that way. I just like to do it the way I do it on one string. That's an easier way for me to do it, I don't know. I'm not that great at the lick, but it takes practice to do that kind of stuff. And here we got the lick we like to call uh, the Far Beyond the Sun lick. But there's two versions of it that I do, that I know. But we'll start off with this one, starting at the... Uh, tenth fret B string. Play it slow. Notice how there's a, on the G string and the A string, they're two, four note per string rather than three. So this is what it's supposed to sound like. the 
App Store that one too. Message me. I got gotcha. you. And uh, this is the one he does in Far Beyond the Sun. I'm pretty sure it's something like this. Starting at the 21st fret, high E string. It's like the same, well that, the ending part is like the same position as the previous lick I just showed you, it's the same position when you get to that little part. So it's... Yeah, it's the same shape as the other one that I just showed you. Except you add the little, yeah. So this is what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's kind of, I struggle on these licks, honestly. They're not easy, I'll tell you that for sure. They're not easy. It takes blood, sweat, tears, practice. There's no shortcut to it, like Yingve Malmsteen says. And here you got the signature Yingve Malmsteen sweep. You probably know it's an A minor sweep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even going to show you. You probably know it. So I'll show you. But <laughs> I'm not a fan of sweet picking myself. I don't really do it too much. I rarely do it, actually. I'm more into string skipped arpeggios myself. Sort of that Paul Gilbert thing and all that. And I actually got you another lick that's pretty hard too. It's uh it's sort of along the lines as the other ones, but I'll show it to you slow and then I'll speed it up. added the 15th fret on the low E. You can do whatever you want, it still all fits. So it's like this. So. I'm not even sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a Yngwie Malmsteen lick. I've heard him play it. I could almost bet on it, but I like the lick anyway. And there's also another one that's a Yingve Malmsteen lick, but I got a shortcut for it, honestly, because I really haven't really practiced it too much. It sounds like this. It's the same thing, pretty much. <laughs> Except in, yeah, it's almost the same thing, but so it's... that one too much. What else is there I can show you? Oh yeah, that signature Yingbe Mom's team vibrato where he's always like <laughs> that's how you do it pretty much. He just slides into it and goes really aggressively. It's a really aggressive thing. He, he oftentimes does that little it's not the same thing as this but it's the same idea. That's the little thing. It's, he does this a lot. Sometimes you'll see him catch him doing like. Keep in mind that's always a, a four note or four frets apart, so it's sort of like sort of this. Yeah, it's, it takes practice. I'll let you know that much. <laughs> 
it doesn't just come in a snap. You gotta practice these licks down to the pad. What else can I show you? Um, 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 I can't think right now. Uh, is that it? It could be it. But anyway, check out this shirt. It's a Yuli John Roth shirt. If you ever listen to him, it's the old guitar player from Scorpions. He plays the sky guitar. Also, check out what guitars I have on my rack right now at this moment. It's a Kramer Beretta. It's a 1987 vintage paint job. There's another Kramer. There's a Surf Green Telecaster right there. Also, this is the amp I use. Mesa Boogie, triple or dual rectifier, 100 watt head, the pedals I use, digital delay, these are based, this is a homemade phaser, that's a booster, happy cat, it's a boost pedal for your uh, gain and all that. And of course, everyone knows I got this guitar, Buckethead Signature. Also,